Hello my Sock Universe. While I have my Europa League slash Conference League background up, I thought let's do an unpacking of a German team that is in one of these two competitions. And German teams in the Europa League and the Europa Conference League are rather thin. I only have Frankfurt. Two of them. Really like this jersey from the early 2010s. I think it's a co much nicer jersey than it initially looked like. But I have here another one from one of the other two teams, which are the two Heims. Hoffenheim and Heidenheim. Hoffenheim I've been largely ignoring because, you know, they're not a very popular team, small team. Again, doing a lot for the region as these teams are wont to do, but also breaking the 50 plus 1 rule, which makes them rather unpopular within Germany. And Heidenheim is a true feel-good story that I also have been largely ignoring because, honestly, until recently I didn't even know what a feel-good story that is. So yeah, they are on the radar for sure, especially qualifying for the Conference League from the first Bundesliga season. I think it's rather remarkable. This one I found on Wilhaben for 10 euros and I've already opened it. It turns out this is actually a player version. So let me show it to you. Take it out. Have a guess. Hoffenheim, Heidenheim, which Heim is it? It is Hoffenheim. Hoffenheim. This is the away jersey, I think, from the 2010-11 season. And it is the famous Puma template, you know, with all the brush strokes. Uh, Cameroon had something very, very similar. And, you know, it's very nicely done. When I took it out the first time, because, you know, you have to check for if it gotten that the seller will get his money. The jersey didn't really fit now in my unpacking schedule. I decided, okay, let's do that. When I took, took it out, the first thing that was notable was it is very stretchy. Are Puma jerseys that stretchy? Weird. Second thing that I felt is that while the crest is nicely stitched on, the Puma logo is just a transfer. So, I had two options. Is this either a fake or is it a player issue? And I contacted my buddy Idris from Amour du Moyon, who quickly confirmed to me this is a player version, which is really, really exciting. Player version for 10 euros. Even in long sleeve makes it even cooler, I would say. Uh, one feature that also shows it's a player version, it doesn't have any tags here on the bottom. I think... There is the USP tag on the back and there's an inside tag and you know from the stitching it all looked very professional from the get-go so I really had to hope is this a player version? Yes. Of course, should have been probably a home jersey in blue but I actually really like this away jersey. It has a really nice feel to it and I really like the way that the sleeves are done. And there it is. Now the size of this was an L. Stretchy L means I fit into it, but yeah, it is a rather, rather tight fit as Puma uh, wants to do. And so I have another German Bundesliga team, one that I wasn't necessarily on my radar, but one that I'm quite pleased of adding to the collection. As I said, it would be nice to have a blue one, but Heidenheim first. I need to get Heidenheim. That might not come cheap because there are not that many floating around. In any case, please let me know what you think about this jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!